<coughs> okay, so we, we had uh, started on Eichhoff's laws and we had successfully uh, stated the Eichhoff's current law. And normally we say it is always known named as first law. When you say state the uh, Eichhoff's laws, the first law, the algebraic sum, so we say that the algebraic sum of uh, currents are the given node, which also called junction, is zero. Some other people may say that the algebraic sum of the currents entering a junction mode is equal to the algebraic sum of all the currents leaving the same node of junction. And uh, this is the same as the law of conservation of charge. Because currents, current is a constitution or a constituent for or are constituted by charge. Current is the level of charge flowing past a given point. If you got a character and you take a specific point and you look at the amount of charge passing by that point and you take that charge to a given time, for example, beginning with unit time, then you will have, or you will be speaking the language of current. And we put this in the form of a diagrammatic representation. You have to remind me, I don't have all these currents in my head, but I remember this was pointing here. This was going out. So I think it was this. This was I2. I1. Okay, I1. I2. I3. I4. It doesn't matter. It's up to you to choose. Uh, if you choose, if you choose the currents, if you choose the energy currents or the currents the currents energy in the node call it a junction to be positive. This would imply that positive inside here is I1, uh, I2 is also NRM plus I2, I think one of it was getting out. I remember some two negatives somewhere. And then you have I4 also NRM, but I3 is living, so you take away I3, but uh, I4 is NRM plus I4 equal to, and in summary, we can summarize it as the summation of the k currents flowing, ik, would be equal to at a given junction. So it's all about convention, it's all about what you decide to choose. After all, the direction of the currents is a ability, you choose. But if you chose and you get a negative, that means that you should have chosen the other. So if you decide to look at a friend and say, I will be your friend, you give them a benefit of doubt. If they screw you up or, you know, stab you in the back, you chuck them. That's the law of nature. You choose, you give them a leeway. Give the husband and wife a divorce. If, and then I think that's why you let this have problems. You be who you are if you are with a guy and you have fun, but you always hide those stupid uh, behaviors and eventually when the guy decides to commit, then you start being the boss. Where are you coming from? <laughs> and the guy will judge you, you are not the, you are not the only woman in the world. So it's all arbitrary, it's arbitrary. You chose arbitrarily and then when you, you study each other, if the behaviors uh, coincide, if the actual positive side you chose is actually positive, then she becomes your wife forever. If she turns out to give you a negative value, you chase away. 
I mean, you will part, you will part ways. Uh, you can do it legally or you can do it good in whichever you want. That's how electricity, I mean, uh, electronics works. Uh, just like normal life. Don't think these guys were so smart. They were able to discover things because of the struggles they were going through. They were not there in action to think of making life comfortable. Life was always a, a hard nut to crack. So as they are struggling to do things, they discover stuff. So the two equations, uh, when you look at this, if you were to choose, before I stop on the equations, if we were to choose, all living currents to be positive, that means that uh, we would be saying that I3 is the only one which is positive. So we have the minus I1 minus uh, I2 plus I3 minus I4 would equal to zero. And the two equations are the same. They don't have any difference at all. And uh, we normally call such equations mode <laughs> equations. And uh, we also, the, the directions we choose are arbitrary. We do not have to say, uh, this is this. It is you to choose. And also you can choose a lady and you take her to be negative. You also treat carefully. And then she proves you wrong. And then you stick together. That's a part. You can take it either way. You see people who meet each other and then they are. Uh, very skeptical, especially nowadays when you, when you come from the West, so this one is corrupt, until when you become very, very good. Where do you come from? Central. This one will cheat me. If, uh, if he becomes honest, then it's okay. You know, it's just about uh, what you choose, but don't tell people that I told you like that. Because it is illegal to mention the people when I'm teaching. For us, we know we are arrogant. Only that the definition of arrogance is to call a spade a spade. Yeah? If you call a spade a spade, they say you are arrogant. I'm proud to be arrogant because I tell the truth. If that is the definition. So if I tell you I will do this, you know I'm telling you the truth from the moral part of my heart. If you can change it, the better. So the second law is Kachov's. I think I wrote Kachov with a single H for the rest of my secondary life. Because no teacher would bother to tell me that uh, <laughs> don't uh, compare <laughs> Kachov's voltage law. So here if we have both voltages as well as potential differences, then it is going to be seen that the sum of the potential drops in a given circuit will be the same as the sum of the voltages in that circuit. And uh, it's a little bit uh, more beautiful when you are dealing with uh, uh, this kind of uh, analysis. I'm not sure whether I will uh, be able to use. So the algebraic sum, the algebraic sum of EMFs in a given, it has to be a given closed loop. In a given closed loop, an example to see what the loop means is equal to the algebraic sum of potential drops, potential drops or potential differences, but normally when you have a a resistor connected in a circuit, we prefer to talk of 
drops because there is always an effect of dropping out the potential. They are just like some of the potential drops in the same loop. In the same loop. As you struggle to do this, this is called the, uh, the law of conservation of energy. Because you are looking at the energies being provided by the circuit as well as the energies which are being dissipated in the circuit. You do not dissipate which you haven't provided. So if you compare, if you look at this law, it shows you that whatever the value you provide is whatever the components within the circuit will lose. If you don't, if you have loss being more than what you put in, that's why every day you have to come with a flower. Sweet here is a flower. <laughs> every day you come with a sweet. Sweetie, here is a sweet. <laughs> and uh, here they say it is always the small things that touch our hearts. How much you put in is how much you get. When you come with a sweet, then they also come down. Here is the juice. <laughs> so the, the, the EMFs, the sum of the EMFs, those fees you pay, those that food with that money you leave on the, I hear they call it a camisa, the money you leave on the table, all that is the EMF. The benefits you get out of the uh, struggle in the home is, are the drops. Of course, they keep dropping. If you don't drink the next day, what happened? Where did you put the flower? So this is, this is the law of conservation of energy. There are a couple of conventions. Maybe before I do the conventions, we are talking of the summation of a K of EMFs or we can just say EMFs is equal to the summation of all the PDs or we can say PD and so this is PD there is a convention conventions which guide us because remember these are laws laws are laws they are discussed, they are passed, and then they are agreed upon by the society. They can be written, they can be agreed virtually, and you know the law, this, this law says you shouldn't marry your sister. And it is a law in the society. You can choose to put it in the constitution or in the penal code or whatever. So the convention is that if the if this is our barrier, which is providing the EMF, and the, car, the loop, this is the car and I. This is the plus, this is the minus uh, terminal. If the loop is going in this direction, this is the loop direction, then the EMF is positive. Here we talk of positive. EMF. On the contrary, if you got the loop moving opposite the conventional direction of the current, then we talk of the negative EMF. So if we have this is our positive terminal of the battery, negative terminal of the battery, we have our current I conventional from the plus, and then we have our loop direction in this opposite or opposing that of the uh, the current then if we need that looping when we are trying to sum up they have to get out the right sum we make sure that we attach a negative negative uh, yes negative EMF electromotive force this is the convention for the EMFs for EMFs. Well, as for PDs, for the potential drops, if you got a, a resistor, a 
and then you have the current moving in the resistor I in that direction and you have a loop which you created also moving in the direction of the current by convention we say that uh, by convention we say that the PV is positive so you get a positive potential drop and finally if we got our potential drop in this resistor whereby the current is in this direction but you chose the loop direction to be in that direction opposite to that of the current then you get your negative key in other words we can have the here so that when you are doing an example we are able to find out better so we got our positive negative loop up positive EMF we got our current up loop down negative EMF current up loop up positive PV current up loop down and then negative PV this is a convention once you know this convention here life becomes easy in terms of applying the uh, Kachov's uh, law of voltages or Kachov's second law so Gustav did a couple of things that uh, if you have also voltage sources we shall in the next section we shall uh, divulge into voltage and current sources much as you will have a battery which is providing the current but those of you who were in the lab yesterday you saw that we could only withdraw you can see that we can adjust the current and say we are adjusting this amount of because our, our DC power supply has got both the middle for voltage as well as the current. So you can make your power supply to be a voltage source if you are interested in the current, you say it is a current source. But of course, your power supply is not, is not like a pump where you just say current come. It's a network. It's a network of resistors, capacitors, and other transistors, and then it is providing you a voltage and a current. How you treat these components to isolate it into a voltage source or a current source depends on your need of what you want to use, whatever you want to use for. So now we know all this. If there are no big questions, you will allow me to do an example to make sure that we get a feeling of how we apply. Normally, when we are doing with, uh, dealing with uh, the, the circuits, we tend generally to use both the uh, Kachov's current law as well as the Kachov's voltage law if we want to find a couple of currents and even knots.
to hold on to your stuff like I do. So calculate, calculate using the Chopp's laws, the Chopp's laws, Gaston Robert, the Chopp's laws, the current, the current I1, I2, I3, in the figure below. in the figure below. So we got a, 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 a battery of 6 volts. We got our uh, 4 ohms resistor here. We have our uh, 10 ohm resistor here. We got our uh, then we have our mission of the circuit. We have our I one, our I two, and our I three. I two is here. I could have, the question could have been otherwise, drawn like this, no currents put, and then they, they say, find the currents flowing. The, first of all, they ask you the total current. The total current would be definitely I1. And then they ask you the current through the 10 ohm resistor, and also the current through the 15 ohm resistor. And then it would be up to you to play around with the currents. But we're going to do it. Uh, twofold, we shall do it as it is and also do it the way it could have been if you chose any of the directions of the current and see whether we come to the same answer, it doesn't matter. It's up to you to choose what you want. As long as you take care of these conventions, everything becomes the same. My favorite spot is wrestling. Anyone of you guess why? It's not that I'm rough. Uh, you only see me as a soft guy who, even when I'm walking, I walk softly. So why do you think I like wrestling? Who can give a guess? Hmm? No, 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 it's not that I learned the skills to wrestle people. <laughs> I have to be a very hard box, even if I did not wrestle you. If I knocked you with my box, like on the head, you get blood right now. But that's not the issue. Uh, the issue is that wrestling is one game where anything can happen. It's up to you to believe in you. You've seen things, this thing on social network where the cat is looking at self as a lion. <coughs> As it is looking at all in the mirror, but it is a lion. It even tries to pose, and it is actually a lion. It sees a lion, but it is a cat. Almost all of you have the potential to pass this course. Or if only you can put in your work. But don't think you come to Kampala, then go to Makerere, then allows in one again, two are all the clubs in town, and then you expect to be a scientist. You will be a club dancer. You get my point. Others who come, then you are the one, always the one who is looking at the games and analyzing. Yes, Giroud is going to score. <laughs> <laughs> and when you go to a football pitch, you can't even kick the ball. If they put the keeper on to stand in the, you can't even score if even when there is nobody in the, in the goal. <laughs> you take it on top of the bus. During this uh, festive holidays, and a friend called me and said, Hey, how are you? I said, I'm fine. Where are you? He said, I'm in office. <coughs> I think it was on the first. In office? He said, yes. Me, I'm here at uh, this place trying to watch a match. <laughs> I laughed. Now, you are watching a match. You are watching people who are in office. 
You are laughing at me who is in the office. Do you see the comparison? Someone is in a, a Chibanda, is watching Premiership, is watching Rooney who is playing football in his office. His office is the football pitch. You, you are there, you have paid money, you are drinking a 2,000 soda, 2,000 shilling soda, how much is soda? In the club, even in those joints, I think it is even, even uh, 5,000. You can't just sit there and he's sipping a 5,000 soda, watching a guy who is making money in his office, and he's laughing at me who is in the office marking my students. You see how stupidity grows up with the people. So if you came to Kampala and you reach here and you stay in one day, the only thing you can tell your village mates is that Kampala has many lights. When you go to club, you see beautiful ladies. And then when they ask you, but you, we are doing physics. Yeah, you know those people in physics are, are very malicious. Ah, those things even if they bore me. <laughs> That's when they start asking, how is your degree? You are searching for it. Well, I'm lucky that uh, I don't think I know of any physics student who is lousy on the street. That's why I campaign for sciences. And even when you hear that 600 degrees are to be involved, the, the problem started in arts. You are doing simple things which just need you to remember some stories and you can't even pass them. <laughs> Let me tell you, if your father or your mother or your guardian is in arts, I don't give a damn. You can tell them. Let them, let them come and we exchange. I can teach their lecture. Whether in economics, whether in political science, I will go there. If they introduce me as the new lecturer, I will teach and finish an hour or two, and they will go happy. They will say, we've got the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you give me five minutes to prepare, I will tell them about the political history of Uganda, and tell them how a meal was bad, and say how Museveni is becoming a dictator, probably. And they will say, yeah, that guy, has the right. But let them come here and see whether they can stay the jobs or <laughs> <laughs> And I wouldn't care. I may not use their political science, but they use my electricity and electronics every day. Every day. When they enter their cars, they use electronics. When they enter their houses, they use electronics. When they are calling, they use electronics. How do I care about Napoleon? What does Napoleon got to do with me? Someone told me Rhinelands. So when I was going for a scholarship, a Canadian scholarship at the Ministry of Education, some guy said, what do you know about Canada? I said, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this official looked at me and said, are you sure? I said, yeah. Anything, like in geography, he said, nothing. I don't remember anything. He said something like Rhinelands. I said, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why the hell should I know about Canada? Give me a scholarship, I'll go there, I'll live the life there, I'll come back when I know Canada. When I come for a holiday, call me for a presentation, I'll tell you all about Canada. But you don't tell me to know the damn uh, Rhinelands in Canada, the Polders in Poland, and whatever, for what? I used to dig in the swamp, we used to make trenches, we used to grow nice uh, potatoes and uh, cabbages. Who cares what Poland does? So don't waste your time here. And then you go and you start explaining and blaming us on how we are making things hard. Why did you have it? <laughs> Solution. So I like wrestling for that. It's, it's one game where a, a, a one guy just goes and kicks big show and wins. It doesn't matter the size. As long as you believe in yourself and you know the signature of the other person, so that you always know they do not copy each other. They do not like be like our politicians who want to imitate some other person's accent. If it is a KO, if it is a, what they have their own signature. When you are when someone is about to win, you know he's going to do this and this. So what is your signature? What do at least people know me as a well? <laughs> what people know about you? What differentiates you between other people? 
mean from the other people. So as a solution, we shall first use in uh, uh, Kachov's, you know, all habits die hard, but I'll try. Using Kachov's first law or law of currents, then we have that I1, I1 should be positive, if we say that uh, uh, Inu is positive, and then this would all be negative, and then that would be equal to zero. So I1 minus I2 minus I3 is equal to zero, implying that I1 would be the sum of I2 and, and we can call this one our equation, one. So we can't get so much around here because it's not possible to get any big out of that. So that means we now try to figure out how to use Kitchoff's uh, second law or Kitchoff's holy law. So I'm going to randomly take the loops. So I will take the loop this side. So I will say this is L1. I'll take this closed loop as L. You can take all of them into the positive, you can take them into the negative, all those tricks you do them in your free time, make sure that you are always up with the damn thing. So, using a Charles law of voyages for loop L1, okay, if we are to use this law, so we say for loop L1, so we now take care of the convention. Loop L1 has both the voltages, uh, the EMF here, as well as the potential drops. Whereas loop L2 got nothing to do with the uh, EMFs. It's all about the potential drops. So it means the potential drops will be equal to L. So for loop L1, we have that uh, our loop is in the direction of the current I1, because this is also I1 here, it's the same path. So we got our 6 volts, so we can either put it this way or put it the other way. The loop also is in the direction of I1 here, so the potential drop here will be positive. So we say that 6 is equal to for I1, and then we come to this other part, I2 is in the direction of the loop, meaning that the drop in it will be positive. So plus 10, I2, I have equation 2. For loop L3, then I would be, I, I'm happy, I don't have anything to do with the EMFs, so I'll have zero, summation of EMFC zero is equal to I2 is in the direction of the loop, so that would be 10 I2, then plus, so let's see whether it is plus, the current is downwards, the loop is upwards, so we will have a negative PD in that according to this other part here. And that means we say that this is minus 15 I3 and this is our equation 3. <coughs> so we, we, we have three equations and these three equations can be played around with and uh, we have that uh, from equation 3 from equation 3 this implies that uh, I2 is equal to 3 over 2 I3. So I can call this one equation. Equation 4. Is this true? Okay. Now, before I move on, because now what is left here is algebra. Agree? Yeah. Simple algebra, you do simultaneous equation or you substitute uh, 
you substitute this in on this, and after putting in the known on this, you solve this and this simultaneously, but that's not what I'm looking at. I could have gotten I1 straight away without <coughs> tinkling with the Kirchhoff's laws. That means I would have looked at these two and uh, figured them out as two resistances which are in parallel. So I would have the 10 parallel with the 15, giving me the product of the sum 10 times 15 over 10 plus 15, which is equal to 150 over 15. Over 25. Over 25. Okay, over 25. I'm so quick to, to solve. So by 5, 30. By 5, so this will be equal to uh, 6 ohms. Then I have now the 6 ohms with this becoming series. So effective resistance of the whole circuit will be equal to 4 plus ohms. Implying that other effective will be equal to 10 ohms. And then I will be able to say I1 is equal to the voltage of R effective, which is equal to 6 over 10, which is equal to 0.6 amps. But this is not the way when we say using Kirchhoff's laws, this would only be for your purposes of cross checking. That's how physics works. When we say use this, use that not say I want to use where I can get an answer. We know the answer. So it's not about you giving us the answer. It's you giving us the answer we deserve. That's where some of you get it wrong. We say find the currents using the jobs laws. You use your damn thing, you find them, and then you cross them, and then you are like, what the hell? So using the current dividing, the current divider principle as well, you can also, now that you've got 0.6, I'm, start, I'm trying to pause on the uh, Kachov's laws just to show you how uh, you could have gotten it in another way, but because of what we want you to do. So here, we got our 0.6 amps as I1. We have a ratio of these two. So if you have 10 out of uh, 25 times 0.6, because if you want to know which one goes where. So one would be 10 out of 25, the other would be 15 out of 25 times 0.6. And we would get these two currents being the same as, uh, I'm not good at uh, manual, manual work, because I, I tried manual work before, uh, before L3 and I used to flop in mathematics until when I had to buy a calculator. So this is point Two four amps. This is gonna be fifteen out of twenty-five times point six. This is point three six amps. So if just because you if you are so quick you can get your answers, then put them aside and come and follow the procedure comfortably and get all your marks. That's how life should be easy and simple. So I got the current I1 equals 0.6 amps. I'm not sure which one is which of the other two. I just put pressures, but if I take 10 out of the, the sum of them, I think I should be able to get I2. And that is uh, 0.2. But we shall prove it out. Why not? We are here to do that. So I come, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I have to chop off this, although I would have loved to leave it there so that when we swap the loops, we are able to get the same damn thing. I can um, leave it on and only copy my I1 because I2 plus I3, I have my 6 because 4I2 or 4I1 plus 10, I2, 
and by gamma by I2 equals 3 over 2 I3 So I'm not so good at uh, simultaneous equations, but I'll try anyway. And uh, that means I'll be having uh, from uh, uh, substitute, substitute, this is 4, this was 4, this was 2, this was 1, 3 was the bigger version of this. So substituting 1, in 2 implies that our 6 is equal to 4 in I1, I2 plus I3, then uh, plus 10 I2 implies that 6 will be equal to 4 I2 plus 4 I2 plus 10 I2 implies that our 6 will be equal to 14 I2 plus I3. And then I got the uh, I2, but uh, I2 is equal to 3 over 2 I3, implying that 6 will equal to 14 in 3 over 2 plus oh, I3 plus 4 I3, 7, 6 is equal to 21. Twenty one I three plus four I three. I'm following, I follow. That's why I pass mathematics. I follow steps. I am not that smart to jump lines. But fortunately, whenever I would follow steps because of my lessons, they were always giving methodology marks. So this would imply that uh, our six is equal to twenty five I three. And I3 will be equal to 6 over 25. I'm not sure whether we shall get the same answer. Yes. Huh? They are the same. I don't know. Because I'm seeing. They are swapped. <laughs> yes, that's why I told you that the one you put on top means that you are getting the current going the other side. The current that you are injecting in that. What you put on top, you reject to this other side. So if you put 15, it means that you are pushing, you are looking for what you will push the other side. And that's why I was a bit skeptical in getting this. So we got 6 over 25. And this is equal to 0 0.24 amps as I3. So uh, as uh, our I3. So when you raise the resistance you raise on top, you are looking for how much you are injecting to go through that resistance. What it is blocking. I guess now you have an idea of that. And you would have felt it if you were to rush and say, ah, this is about the uh, current division. A good idea. So I now have I3. I can get I2. From I2 equals 3 over 2 I3, this would be equal to 3 over 2 multiplied by 0 0.24. So that is 0 0.12 times 3, which is 12 in a sense, which is equal to 0 0.3, 6 halves. Anyone of you really still have any issues with the chops, how to use the loop uh, analysis? But let's, let's uh, in a few minutes left, let's try to, uh, to, to just take the loops anyhow, the currents anyhow. So I'm going to make this one opposite, and I'm going uh, to pretend that uh, the current, well, there's no other source. If there was another source, I would make this one go this side, but let me take this as this. Do we change also this? We can leave this one like this. 
and we can uh, change the loop here to be opposite. Or we can leave this loop here and instead change this one and follow the same procedure. And we would be able to get the values we want. But let's not assume the, uh, the equations would be now, according to the uh, convention there, the equations would be for this loop here, the current is opposing, so we will get minus 6 is equal to the potential drops, the current is this side, the loop is this side, we have minus 4, I1, the loop is going up here, I2 is also up, so we will be plus 4, oh sorry, 10, I2, so this is our equation 2, Equation 1 is very indispensable. It is the equation which should be the first Kirchhoff's law of the uh, Kirchhoff's law of currents. The Kirchhoff's law of currents says that whatever is entering is equal to whatever is leaving. Or algebraic sum of the uh, currents at the node is zero. So we got our I1 minus or plus I2 minus I3 equals zero. So that is one. This other loop, all the I's are in the right, all the PD's are in the right direction. I mean are in the positive direction according to the convention there. So I will be having zero is equal to uh, 10 I2 then plus 15 I3. And then I will do my calculations. So I'm going to do it so fast. Keep an eye on me so that I do not mess it up. And see whether we can get the same as this from I from 1. This implies that I 1 is equal to minus I 2 plus I 3. And then from uh, Equation 3, I have that uh, 10 I2 is equal to minus 3 over 2, I3, and uh, what else? I now do my business. So, substitute for I1 in equation 2 yields substituting, and then I have uh, minus 6 is equal to minus 4 in uh, minus I, I2 plus I3, then plus 10 I2 minus 6 is equal to minus, so this is minus minus, which will be 4 I2 minus 4 I3 plus 10 I2 Minus 6 is equal to 14 I2 minus 4 I. Uh, but uh, I2 is equal to minus 3 over 2. So minus 6 is equal to 14 E minus 3 over 2. I3 minus 4 I. 3. So I got uh, this being 7, and then I have minus, minus 21, minus 4i3, is equal to minus 6. <coughs> minus, minus, when you are in a dead, and then they give in the ball of more, you become even more dead for that. Remember that. Don't borrow money. If you don't have money, just go on the tap, get some water, you go and boil it and gallop it. You will never die. You can survive on water for two days. Don't borrow money. You will be broke for nothing. It's like you care about so much about your life that you care about yourself. 
But you know, the less problematic you are, the more life I enjoy. If any one of you is a goon around the place, I feel uncomfortable. Even when I'm going home in the night, I'm worried that you may want to take away my phone much as it is a cabinet. So this would be the same as I to be is equal to 6 over 25 amps. And we need this. So you can do the other bit. You can take any loop as long as you take care of the convention. You can have a very comfortable life at campus as long as you follow the convention. Attend all lectures, do all assignments, be on wedding, and you'll be fine. You can have a happy marriage if you always have to allow uh, stupid things to take over you. You bring a flower every night and you always have to say, I'm sorry, darling. Life will be comfortable as long as you follow that convention. On that note, I would like to say, have a nice day.